Okay then everybody, um, now we come to one of our posher type of taps, if you've got this sort, um, the old lever job that goes around like this. Um, turn the water off first, which I've just done, um, and to get this out, to get the top off to do any repairs to this, um, we've got to take this, this little bit out of here, it's the cold hot, shows you if it's on hot or if it's on cold. Now to get that out we've got to use a little screwdriver to pop it out, try not to break it if you can, it's a bit awkward but um, I'll show you how to get it out, um, get it in there like so and pop it out. I mean I, I must admit I've just taken this out just to make sure it will come out on the video um, but they are a bit awkward to get out first off okay. Put a plug in the sink if you don't want to lose it down the sink okay make sure that you you keep a hold of it and try not to mark it too much when it comes out okay next inside there um there is a an allen key it's it's not an easy thing uh, i don't know if you can see it in there um if i can shine the torch in there let's see if i can move the camera up a bit and you might be able to look inside there and, and see yeah there's like a, a an allen key if i can get a light on there there it is um, get the torch in there there is a there is an actually an allen key can you see that there there it is um so it's not as simple straightforward like the other taps we've got an allen key there um we've got to get that undone so that's holding the top on so we'll pull the, the camera back here okay so that's down there now this is um i've already found out the the size it's i can't remember this exact size now I took it out of the box um it was a, a number two i think um but you can see there the size you may have to go trial and an error, um, but that's the size for this Allen key thing. Now all you've got to do is stick this in the hole there. I'm sure you won't be able to see much because I've got to put the, the thing on there and undo this Allen key. Okay, once that's undone, um, I've got it off now. Now don't get to put your plug in there or get a bowl there to lose any bit because this just pops off after that. Okay, there's the top of it off. Okay, for you to do your repair. Now inside there will be the screw. There's the screw that we've just taken out, okay, so put that with your, your other three bits there, just keep them together. So I'll just move the camera there. Now, there'll be a little cap here, this should undo with your fingers, if you can do it hard, anti-clockwise, it should come off and there we go, she's gone. If not, um, you will need grips again, but obviously like before, make sure you, you cloth it up like so. Don't just try and put grips on it, it will mark it. Normally nine times out of ten is undo your hand. Once you've got that off, um, you'll see that there's a, a nut and thread here. Um, now it's the next bit to come off. Um, this is a bit more good actually. I'm going to show you now. I've got a big sort of small adjustable spanner, but you will need an adjustable spanner for this. Um, it's the easiest way rather than trying to find a big spanner. Unless you've got a mechanic car kit out there, then you can undo it. This undoes fairly easily. Okay, it's not tight. Okay, undo that nut and pull that out of there. Obviously, as I said before, make sure you've got the water off before you do this um, and pull it out. Um, once you've got it out, you'll see that it's a, it's a freezing diaphragm thing. It's, it's a really odd piece of kit. Um, I'd advise, if possible, to buy the whole piece of this rather than splitting it here and trying to get washers in there, they're the, they're the um, ceramic disc. Um, but you can, once you've got it out, you can take that off and, and do the ceramic disc if you want. But personally, I'd uh, I'd buy the whole thing if, if you could get it, if it's obtainable, and just really the whole part. Now when it goes back in, um, you'll see these two little lugs here. Um, these two little lugs line up with two little lugs inside the tap. Um, if I can show you on the video there, you'll see the two little lugs on the tap. Um, there they are down there. See those lugs, okay. Uh, it's got to go into those two and it'll line up. So we've got the camera back there. Okay, and we'll line that up with the two little lugs. You'll feel it drop in, it will, it will sit, simply sit in there. You know you've got it because it sits in, I can feel it there now. Uh, and once it's in there, put your screw back on and uh, tighten back up, basically. Um, it doesn't need to be dead tight, 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 but um, just enough obviously to do the job. cover back on okay and then the most awkward bit now is just getting this back um, back on because you've got to get that screw back in there um, I tend to get get the screwdriver um, and, and put it on 
if you put it on there like that ready um, and then, then find, a, find the hole in there you should feel it and you can get it started there you go I've started it already and chiseling okay that's the way I get it in and um, that's got the screw in and get a screwdriver give it a little knock up like so and take that out and get your little button again okay and get it round the right way all right cold goes to the right hot to the left like so okay you can see that hoping the light is good enough for you get it around that smack in the middle if you can and push and that's it we're in um turn your water back on and and that one should be up and running and we should be okay with that Saying you're going there, that, that'll be it. There we are, she's back on and running, and uh, there you go. Okay, we move on to the next taps. Next up for tap tops, we have this type of thing. Uh, if you've got these sort in a basin or anywhere, a sink, it can be anywhere, bath, uh, these are half turn levers. Um, again, it can be a little bit awkward to get off, but they're, they're not too bad really. Um, again, we'll show you how to do these ones. Now, this little top here, we'll do the hot one. Uh, I've turned the water off. Um, normally it just pops off. It's tight. Again, you need a bit of rag around there to undo this bit here, but normally it comes away with your fingers really tight, but it goes. Once it's gone, like that, it's gone. Okay, um, what you'll find inside is a screw. Now, another little important thing is to make sure your pop-up is down when you do this, because we, we don't want we don't want the thing um, uh, going down the sink, do we? So, put your pop-up down in your sink so you don't lose it or, you, or your waste anyway. Make sure it's down like so. And put it down. Mine's on a pop-up here. Okay, and then the screw comes out. We probably well, I'll probably still lose it actually. <laughs> I've lost many of them down, uh, down the sink by now. Uh, as you can see, there's a screw there. Get your screwdriver, okay, and undo that. Uh, it'll be a bit tight to start. We'll just push it and keep going until it comes out. Okay, once it comes out of there, with your fingers. Let's um, say keep that plug in the sink. I guarantee you, like that, you see. <laughs> <laughs> but look, because I had to plug in the sink, there yeah, it's safe and sound. Okay, so take that out now. Um, what you got then is, is the top that just pulls off. Okay, just don't come out like so. Don't drop that in the sink. Now, don't break the sink. Although I have done this before, <laughs> I've done it before. I've uh, been plumbing too long, I think. Anyway, uh, there at least your handle there. Um, you can see now you just need a spanner on there um, to take that off and do your, your disc. Just get the spanner on there like so and, and twist her off. I'm sure you know how to do that. Try not to miss the whole tap for the thing. But, um, because it is easy to turn them all around um, when you're undoing it like that. I did just a fraction there. I'll just make sure that's tight in the sink from underneath later. Um, and then just whip the thing out. Um, again, to renew your discs underneath. I'll take one, this one out. The ones with the washers I showed you earlier, you know how to do those. Everybody knows how to do washers. Uh, and there's your your disc there okay you can renew those um, and job done put it back and you should be okay make sure the seating's nice and smooth in there okay the seat the tap this tap's quite new so obviously as you can see it's quite decent but if you live in a hard water area make sure that's ground flat okay uh, and put your your bits back uh, and that that should be that for this little ditty we'll um put him back and uh you can see how easy it goes it's not too bad you don't need to call plumbers in for these type of things do them at home and save yourself a lot of money i only tell you because i'm a plumber and i used to do this for 40 years till i retired last year now i thought hang on i think i'll save some other people some money instead of calling me in all the time save some money and do it yourself it's possible it's easy just get that when you put that back in the off position, just make sure that it goes up level with a tap like so. I mean, that one's like that, so I think the probably wants to come around one more notch. That's it, so it matches the other one. You can see that, so they're both the same together. Uh, and then pop your screw in, and um, we should be there then. And I'll put the cap back on. So we don't need to see how that goes, but I'll, I'll show you anyway. Speed that bit up if it comes to it. <laughs> I've done that before now, got to a boring bit of the film and sped it up just to get through the boring parts. Anyway, there we go. That's on there, that screws back in there, and uh, your tap should be done. Okay, that's about it. 
for them ones. Um, and that's how to do those little ditties. Okay, very last. Um, what about if you've got a pet as well? What about the set of these nasty things? Look great. Um, here they are. Those waterfall taps. Now they look a bit of a mystery, don't they? But uh, don't worry, they're not as hard as you think. Um, with these, this cap comes off. Okay, I'm going to go take all these off the bits because um, it's fairly simple, as you can see. Um, this cover comes away, uh, and there's a nut there. You can see it around there. Uh, just put your span on there. This glass bit lifts off once you take that cover off. I'm not going to take it off because I'm too scared of breaking the glass. I, I did on the last one. I'll only do these under supreme pressure. Put something in the bottom of the bath there so that if it does come off and fall in the bath, um, you can at least it won't break. Um, I'm not going to bother taking it all off. I'm just going to show you that nut there undoes. Okay, that, the glass lifts out then clear. Uh, and then put your spanner on this nut here. I don't think you see the side of that nut. Just get it on there. Undo it, usual thing, and pull the body out, and then you can get to your ceramic dishwashers underneath. Uh, again, it's, a, it's not a dead easy one, but when you first look at it, you wonder how the hell you're going to get it off. But it's all revealed under this little screw cap there, uh, and that's all there is to it, really. It's not quite as bad as it looks. Um, but say on that one unless you actually request me to take one of these off and show you completely uh, and you want me to do that on another video i will take it right off um just at my wife she's very funny about it don't you go taking that cap off because <laughs> you break the glove yeah okay okay but there we are guys and girls um that's how to do um different type taps in in the case of not actually repairing the tap but getting the tops off because it is very very awkward i'm sure i've had to do this on my ipad because uh the missus took the, the camera so i had to use this pad that's why it's a little bit dodgy with a photography on this one anyway thanks very much for watching uh derrick and for free for my videos and please subscribe thanks very much for watching <laughs>